get this, the Harbor Gateway Chamber of Commerce says that there are 500 RVs parked on its streets. But politicians say some of those vehicles should soon be cleared away thanks to L.A. County's Pathway Home Project, which clears encampments. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Haskell has the details on this story that Eyewitness News has been following for weeks. Just when you think conditions in East Gardena, West Rancho Dominguez and unincorporated L.A. County improved, a presence from the sheriff, homeless outreach, a licensed waste disposal truck. You make a turn from Main Street onto Compton Boulevard and see this. The majority of these RVs have no, no, they don't exist. There's no VIN, there's no license plate, there's no registered owner. So it's basically just a vessel on the street. And unfortunately, our electeds are thinking that this is considered housing. And this is not housing. As you can see and smell, no one should be living like this. 500 RVs call these streets home according to the Harbor Gateway Chamber of Commerce. Business owners and residents tell Eyewitness News the RVs have brought crime, environmental issues, and chaos with them. According to the Harbor Gateway Chamber of Commerce, there's been 47 RV fires like this one since January, where it can take up to six months for the county to remove this mess. Business owners tell Eyewitness News the RV fires are intentionally set after someone either failed to pay rent or ended up in a dispute. The fire on Compton Boulevard took out power to some of the local businesses for two days. You're seeing people with small children. You're seeing, you know, those who have pets or those with health conditions that probably should be in a hospital, medical conditions. It, it, it is quite appalling here. Tasha Serta is the mayor of neighboring Gardena and says the problem has spilled into her city. This section of unincorporated L.A. County is represented by Supervisor Holly Mitchell. There is not enough leadership that's happening here. And again, I know the supervisor. She's a friend of mine, and I've even had some conversation. Uh, I've been told that, you know, she is doing more. There are some challenges here as far as when they take the RVs, how they can't immediately dispose of them. And so there's some issues like getting towing companies and finding parking. Understandable, because everything takes time. But I think it's been a long time that this area has sat like this, and the people have been for some time now complaining. Today is the first time we've ever seen the septic tanks being emptied by the county that they're paying for it. So that took three years, so that's progress. Isela Gracian with Supervisor Mitchell's office says help is on the way thanks to the county's Pathway Home Project, which clears encampments and houses those in tents and RVs. An operation in unincorporated Lenox cleaned up West 101st Street along the 405 freeway and housed 59 people. East Gardena is the first location for Pathway Home for the RVs. Uh, given the, the challenges, the safety issues that we're seeing and experiencing here in East Gardena. So we are uh, working on getting the, the first one launched and it's going to help the residents and the constituents be able to connect to housing and have a, a cleaner neighborhood. Supervisor Mitchell's office says their goal is to stop pushing RVs into unincorporated parts of the county and clean up the area for good. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.